Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick update for uh, the November 2019 update. A few little things uh, to talk about, including Microsoft updating the uh, requirements for the latest November 2019 update for CPUs. So you know, every time there's a new version of Windows, of course, there's a update on the minimum requirements and the types of CPUs that actually will be... Uh, uh, supported by the operating system and that hasn't changed much actually over the last few builds or few versions we uh, had one uh, version in the creators update time uh, fall careers update i believe that uh, had left behind some older um, intel processors that were in you know like low powered uh, tablets and stuff like that since then there really wasn't any cpus left behind and it doesn't really change much. Actually, the November 2019 update being uh, in in its structure pretty much the same as version 1903 means that it runs pretty much on the same hardware, except there's added CPU that are the next generation of CPUs coming to the market. So first, if you are on a um, older version of Windows 10, one of the things that is for sure is that the November 2019 update will work uh, probably on your system without any problems. If you're on the May 2019 update, it's going to work for sure. And if you're on the April or October 2018 update, it should work. Um, sometimes you just need to um, have a, a few drivers updated, but uh, it should normally work fine. So what are the CPUs that are added mostly? Because the ones that are already um, supported in 1903 are supported again here. It's really the latest in Ryzen CPUs, the latest Intel 10th generation CPUs, and added also is the latest uh, Qualcomm CPUs for ARM devices. So what it technically does is simply add the latest or newest generation of CPUs coming to the market to the list of compatible com CPUs for the November 2019 update. That means what you're running now with, say, the May 2019 update is going to work and even older processors. We haven't really had any, you know, update yet that kind of says, well, okay, older CPUs and this generation will now be left behind, for example. So uh, the good news is really there isn't any changes, really. Uh, it's just the newer uh, CPUs that are added to the list. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.